What is up YouTube? Welcome back. It's your buddy Technoboy and uh, today I'm going to show you uh, this uh, mini amplifier. You can see it right here. And uh, I just made this. I just finished uh, building this thing and um, this is uh, on demon amplifier. One of my subscribers asked me to build one class D amplifier. So this is a class D amplifier. So this thing doesn't have any transformer or anything like that so it's very lightweight and uh, at the front you can see that's the power button that's the USB FM and CD DVD selection switch that's the Bluetooth kit volume bass treble and balance very simple and uh, the cabinet is uh, made out of good quality metal and it's a sturdy one so now let's check inside the circuitry and all the stuff so that's the inside of it and uh, you can see that's a power supply that's a main amplifier kit and that is a base treble means the tone controller kit so I'm gonna tell you in details of this thing how it is connected so so here let's start with the power supply that's a 24 volt power supply with the 5 amps for the main amplifier kit and that's a 5 volt power supply for this Bluetooth kit well I tried a 7805 IC first but there is some noise coming out from the kit uh, to the output speakers because of the same power supply and I can use some uh, Xenodad and a resistance and the caps that would eliminate the noise but I didn't take that risk I used a mobile charger right here and uh, I connected it shoulder it properly to this uh, AC power supply uh, the input and the output is coming out from there and I just covered it with a PVC tape at the, uh, the top side so that's it and uh, I didn't remove the kit from this uh, plastic casing because it was hard to put the kit right here and uh, if uh, somebody open it and touch this side they're gonna get the shock electric shock so I put the kit inside this plastic casing and it covered the top with the PVC tape so that's the power supply part and there was and there was the LED at the top right here uh, you can see the wire connection that was just there to let you know that whether the power supply is on or off when the light is on that means the power supply is on so when the power supply is on all the everything inside is on so I just uh, removed this LED from there and connect it at the front side cabinet right here so that's it and uh, that's a selection switch uh, one input is coming from this Bluetooth kit and another one coming from this uh, backside RCA socket right there so we can select it by pressing this button right there so now let's come to the main amplifier kit it's a 120 watt plus 120 watt stereo amp kit as it says well I didn't check uh, with the bigger uh, size uh, speaker boxes like that but I think this can give you at least uh, of 8200 watt each as I think so so that's the speaker output I didn't use this uh, screw type socket I just uh, uh, shouldered the wires at the bottom side of this kit and that's the input I use this uh, socket I didn't shoulder this because the pins uh, stay there so close it it's uh, hard to shoulder them right there and these two are the potentiometers right there and they are at full and that's a uh, volume control right there 
and the output is coming from the middle to this board and the input right there is coming from this base travel kit tone controller kit and the input coming from the selection uh, switch right there to this uh, tone controller kit is right there you can see that's the shielded wire is right there at the bottom that one and this is the, another one that's for the RC socket that's one shielded wire is right there that's a power supply and that's a output for this uh, Bluetooth kit and uh, this kit required 12 volt power supply, so I use a 7812 IC right there. That's a 12 volt regulator IC, and uh, it's connected with this thing, the 24 volt power supply, which is coming from uh, this power supply right there. This red and black wire you can see. This red and black wire, the main uh, power supply going to the board, is uh, shouldered. At the bottom, and I took the input power supply for this 12 volt regulator IC uh, from the top. You can see the screw mounted uh, sockets right there. I use that for that IC right there. So, and there, that's the 12 volt power supply right there. This is a very good one, good controller uh, kit. And I had to remove the potentiometer that came with this kit uh, from the board and had to use this potentiometer uh, this is a 47k and so pretty much that's it and at the back here you can see uh, two sockets are there speaker sockets left right left right and left right but I didn't use both of them. I have connected the top one for the left channel and right channel. Well, all the amplifiers they do like they similarly, they parallelly connect the one socket with another one. So it's basically a two channel amplifier, but they make it like four channel amplifier, something like that. But, but I didn't do that because if I connect uh, parallelly both of them, and if someone used the uh, low impedance of uh, speaker boxes that gonna blow the main chip amplifier chip at a high volume so I didn't do that I simply connected the top one right there and the bottom one is empty not connected you can see so that's a pretty much all of it and the main thing is it sounds very good and the bass is also very good so I'm going to turn it on now and I'm going to check the sound so let's wait for that so it's ready now and you can see two bookshelf speakers are there uh, they have four inch uh, subwoofer and one inch dome tweeter well now let's turn this thing on and uh, check the sound So you heard the sound and the sound quality is very good and there are no noises there you can see the volume is at 50 percent and no noise is coming from the amp unlike the other amplifiers and uh, the sound is very clear if you connect the bigger 
uh, boxes then you'll get uh, much better output so that's it that's all for today so in the next video thanks for watching bye bye